I've seen that some of you are getting some DFM errors like insufficient inner layer annular ring or insufficient outer layer annular ring if you go to this link you will see that for PCB requires a minimum of 0.005 ins that is 5 mils annular ring for VS and the minimum of 007 inch for component holes that is 7 mils for component holes if you look closely here this yellow region is the drill hole and this small green ring is called annular ring the minimum thickness that for the minimum thickness that for PCB can manufacture is 7 mils for component holes so the outer diameter of your pad should be at least 17 mils greater than the drill hole for example if you have a 20 mils drill hole then the outer diameter of your pad should be at least 40, 14 mils greater that is 34 mils now I will show you how you can update your component pads open your PCB editor right click to any component pad that you want to modify select modify pad stack single instance select single instance if you want to update only that pad stack or all instances if you want to update all the similar pad stacks I'm going to select single instance this will open up this path editor window here if you go to parameters tab you will see that the drill hole diameter is 36 mils and let's go to layers tab let's say I want to change this top pad diameter you, you can see the diameter is 60 mils right now I'm going to change this to 70 mils okay let's do same for layer 2 let's make this 70 you have to change all the layers make sure that the pad diameter in any layers is 14 mils greater than the whole diameter in my case 60 was greater than the minimum requirement but just I want to show you how you can change your pads that's why I'm changing these to 70 you have to change all the layers same for solder mask top make it something greater than their pad diameter for a thumb rule I always make the solder mask layer 10 mils greater the pad layer so I'm going to set this 80 same for solid mask bottom 80 okay remember you might need to change these values too sometimes if you don't want to change this value just set those now so both thermal relief and anti pad you can just change those to null okay now I can click update to design was this pad this will change yeah you see it is still changed although it is showing me some DRC error but as I wanted to show you only how to update my pad I don't care about the DRC right now thank you for watching this video let me know if you have any questions